Grunfeld defense, Brinkman, Grunfeld gambit accepted, 8, NA69.GA6 QXG2. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. With the help of the king's Indian defense, white can get ready to develop the bishop to g7 and create a powerful center that black will later try to damage. And c3 prepares the e2 e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. The Grunfeld defense uses this pawn push to gain space in the center and attack the c4 pawn. The dark squared bishop becomes an active diagonal with influence over the center after bf4. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. e3 allows the light squared bishop to develop, and defends the bishop on f4 and the pawn on d4. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Cxd5 releases central tension and captures a pawn, opening the diagonal for white's light squared bishop. Nxd5 recaptures the knight and frees the diagonal for the dark squared bishop. Nxd5 exchanges pieces by capturing the knight on d5. Qxd5 recaptures the knight and centralizes the queen. Bxc7 captures the undefended pawn. Na6 develops the knight and attacks the bishop on c7. Ga6 captures the knight in order to double black's pawns. Qxg2 captures a pawn and attacks the rook on h1. This defends a rook that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. This is the way to win a bishop. This is the only move that works. Recaptures. That bishop was free for the taking. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is the last book move. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This poses a fork piece threat. It is quite good. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to kick the knight. It is incorrect. A pawn kicks the opposing knight forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. That's good. This provides a free pawn. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to seize a free pawn. It falls flat. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is best. This protects the bishop who was attacked. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is a mistake. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. This might indicate that a rook was attacked. It is ideal. This reveals an attack on a bishop. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. That was a truly amazing move. This threatens to fork pieces. It is brilliant. This prevents the adversary from forking pieces. It is ideal. This overlooks an opportunity to defend a bishop that was under attack. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a knight. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is a mistake. This misses a chance to threaten a bishop and gain tempo. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is good. It is a fair deal after all captures. 
it is ideal. This depends upon that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. So, a knight is attached to the king. It is ideal. This defends the attacked knight. This is the only move that works. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook while also checking the king. It is a great move. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This overlooks an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is a mistake. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This permits the opponent to take an open file with a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to take an open file with a rook. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This avoids the knight's check. It is ideal. This lets the opponent capture a pawn to win material. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to defend a knight that was under attack. It is a mistake. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. Backs off. Black is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is quite good. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is quite good. This is an equal trade. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. A very strong play. It is excellent. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is quite good. A solid choice. It is excellent. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.